This episode of Calgary Basement Sessions is sponsored by Cornerstone Music Cafe. For more information on Cornerstone, visit cornerstonemusic.ca. Yeah. I'll Excellent. Excellent. Let's do this. Hey, welcome to Calgary Basement Sessions. I'm Ben Price. I'm Ben Montgomery. And today what? we're talking... What? <laughs> I jumped right into it. <laughs> we're talking to Megan Dawson. We've talked to her before. We have. But I bet she has other things to say. Yeah. Megan Dawson is a pop singer-songwriter from Calgary, Alberta. Her newest release, Double Take, was recorded at OCL... St- of course it was. Of course it was. OCL <laughs> yeah. Studios in Calgary. Uh, Dawson co-produced the song al- alongside Josh Gwilliam to bring a mid-2000 pop style to her modern pop sound. Double Take made the iTunes Pop Top 200 chart on its day of release. Try to say that pop 10 top. times fast. <laughs> pop Top, Pop Top. Uh, the song has reached more than 15,000 streams and was added to over 15 playlists on Spotify since its release on April 21st. We, we'll talk about that. Because... Okay. <laughs> Spotify playlists confuse me. Anyway, <laughs> Dawson wrapped up two, uh, 2019 by opening for Andrew Allen on his sold-out All Hearts Come Home tour stop in Calgary at the King Eddie and participating in Canada's Music Incubator's Artist Entrepreneur West Professional Development Program at Studio Bell, home of National Music Centre. There's that Canada Music might be a run on Might be a run-on sentence there. Yeah. Let me fix that. Yeah. Definitely. That's probably our fault. <laughs> She got her start in the Calgary country music scene in 2016, actively playing numerous stages and making multiple radio appearances around Alberta. In 2018, Dawson was nominated for an Alberta Country Music Association Fans Choice Award and performed at the ACMA Fan Festival. Welcome, Megan. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> oh, that thanks. was such a great intro. You guys are great at those. <laughs> Uh, he's he's getting better. He's no, getting it's better. good. It's it's practice. Good. We only have yeah. three more of these to do. So. Yeah, I'm like I'm tempted like one of these days like when I'm typing out these bios just to like put in like the middle like I'm a twat and he'll read it. <laughs> he'll, he'll just read, read it because it's right there. <laughs> I'll just keep what you. <laughs> this is giving away all the secrets, but I don't look at these before right now, <laughs> so I would I would just read on through. Yeah, it's like. Dawson wrapped up 2008, wrapped up 2019 by opening for Andrew Allen. I'm a twat. Uh, and it's sold out. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. I'd question it as if I, as you see, I stop and talk a little bit about yeah, it. Oh, my God. It's like, he's like Ron Burgundy, honestly. You just give him anything and he'll read. I'll go. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm a professional. <laughs> yes, you are. Thank there was you. a lot of sentences at that night. That was pretty much my fault. Thank you. Bios. Okay. Yeah, right. So. Okay. Are hard. <laughs> no, I don't. What? <laughs> I know what oh, you're no. going to say. <laughs> Rabbit hole? Okay. <laughs> Every time someone sends us a bio, I, I do look at them occasionally before, like, before now. I do. He's um, like, mm. <laughs> maybe one or two. I do. I, ha- I usually have a look at them and I'll, I'll edit and I'll cut some things out yeah, if it's true. too long. That's yeah. True. Anyway, um, a lot of people. And I'm sorry if you've been on and you're hearing this now, but have crappy bios. There's just okay. information in there that no one cares about. I love <laughs> the honesty right now. This like, is great. I, just, I want I want to know your highlight. I want to know your name. Mm-hmm. I want to know your highlights, and I want to know what you're doing now. Cool. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like wh- wh- when I'm writing them out, right, and uh, just writing them on my iPad, I'm just like. Ben's gonna hate this. Gonna hate There's this. Uh, I also he hate like the, the four different words to describe how awesome you are. Mm-hmm. Now I do this same thing myself when I write bios because Pete, you're selling yourself to people as an artist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you need to be absolutely fantastically amazing. Yep. But I read other people's bios and I'm like, this is garbage. <laughs> but I do the same thing. So I, I can't really judge that part of it. But it's weird. Mm-hmm. Artist bios are weird. Bios are difficult. Like, they are difficult. They are very difficult to kind of get everything right where you sound like humble, but you're mm-hmm. actually saying some things that you've done. Yeah. So it's like, it's it's a weird balance. I'm mm-hmm. also like, I'm really bad at speaking like just about myself in general. So like I had like a lot of help with just like, how do you write a bio and how do you make yourself sound cool without seeming like a psychopath or a narcissist? So <laughs> when you wrote the bio, be honest, was your first, you tried it on your own. And we're like, this isn't working out. Immediately to Google, 
how to write a bio. How to write a bio, yes. Yeah. And then bio also templates. My Yay. mom <laughs> my mom is actually really good at bios and okay. she's really good at reading things and she is brutally honest. Like if she's like, Meg, this is like mm mm then I'm like, okay, that's like a <laughs> legit <got> <laughs> opinion. We need to we need to take that into account. So but yeah, no legit. It takes a while to like get it so it doesn't and also so it's like a reasonable length. So it's exactly. not like five pages yeah. long. So yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what I've seen as well? I've seen people with two bios. They have a short bio and, and then, then a longer long one. Bio. Yes. yes. Yeah, and that's absolutely. definitely a thing that makes life a lot easier to yeah. have both of them ready to go. So Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Aye. So tell us about yourself, Megan. No, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about I yourself. I just told you. Go. And go. <laughs> you have 20 minutes. <laughs> you have 20 minutes. So... Yeah, tell us what you've been up to. You said that you've been you've been doing a lot of writing. Yes, actually, mm-hmm. it's been really cool because, um, like, even the, at the beginning of quarantine, like, I definitely wanted to take the time. I didn't because we didn't know how long it was gonna really be at first, and mm-hmm. I just knew that I'm gonna take the time while I'm not gigging to write. Mm-hmm. Um, and then obviously, like, this has been stretched out quite, a, you know, uh, a few months, you could say. So I mean, um, <laughs> I have been just doing a lot of writing, like, with both um, kind of the Zoom thing, and then just like re- more recently in the summer when. It nice out just meeting someone like a friend in a park or something um Mm. but yeah a lot of different writing styles which has been really cool i um i think it was a couple weeks ago now did the alberta music songwriter challenge which was really cool because normally they would do it in person but they managed to fit i think it was 18 writers into a big zoom room and then we were into breakout groups and so we got to write with some new people i'd never even met or collaborated with before and then they had brought in some mentors so that was like a really good challenge because we had to write um, so we had four days mm-hmm. and, um, it was the first two days you had to write a song, um, get a demo done of it, um, and get it kind of mixed with the vocals and everything. And they are sending that off for mixing. And then there's another two days you had to do another new song. So it was like, it was really cool, like kind of time crunch challenge. Wow. Um, so, but yeah, songwriting has kind of been the main thing over the last little bit, just really trying new styles of writing and trying to get out of my comfort zone with things. And mm-hmm. so that's mm-hmm. been very prominent, kind of the main thing I've been up to. That's awesome. That's really cool. Um, you probably haven't heard of this, right? But it's a new thing that's that's uh, that's out. And maybe she has heard of it. Maybe you have Mm-mm. the one hour beat. No, I have not heard of it. Ah, you were right. It's, okay. it's, it's literally it's, it's not that popular right okay um, because no because <laughs> no, what no, a sell it's not that popular like, but, oh, but okay. it's because oh, it's because it's like weeks old it's weeks oh, old like so new. it's brand new i get right? you okay cool and it's a guy called elijah elijah lucian who okay. who started it and is uh, like I've, i'm i've played with him before and he's like he's a really really nice guy you can see our show at the blind blind beggar i did yeah and uh yeah, he has. St- he's like a sort of a digital guy. You okay. know, he's like really good with computers and that sort of thing. And he's created like a sort of platform, like a sort of website type thing. Mm-hmm. It's called the One Hour Beat, and um, there's like a chat room that's like linked on to it. And mm-hmm. so you 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 chat. You can like invite your friends. You chat with your friends, and then you have one hour. So everyone sort of discusses like a topic. Yeah. Uh, and then everyone decides on a topic like um and then so our topic was rocks okay so we decided to write a rock song in one hour super cool about rocks, yeah. about rocks that's you know? fun and it's just like and it's really it was such good fun you know yeah. we just like hung out and just had some pizza and just wrote a rock song about rocks i love and that it's hilarious it's so much and then you, of course after the hour you get to hear other people's songs and yeah, stuff yeah and that's uh, really cool some of them are like pretty awesome yeah you know, for like for an hour it's pretty unbelievable i mean these people are like you know like one one girl went to berkeley college of music and stuff okay, like that so yeah. like well you know well-trained musicians yeah some of them just like like to play guitar now and again you know and um were you and some of them are me yeah <laughs> exactly that just hit things yeah <laughs> yeah that'll, that'll do i yeah. have sticks <laughs> <laughs> look at what i can do i like your <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh yeah it's, it's so much fun yeah mm-hmm. and that kind of just reminded me of yeah like, the sort of uh thing that you are totally yes. yeah that's super cool so i taught some magic lessons online for a theater company in calgary okay and it was over zoom and i had the hardest time with like lag yes mm-hmm. okay and i'm just talking and we had nothing that needed to be in time so i imagine trying to do music if there was any sort of 
flag, that would just be, yeah. it's a disaster. Mm-hmm. Yes. Did you find that? Trying you know, to write? like, was that frustrating? It was really interesting because um, that was definitely something we all went over just as like from the technical side of things because we knew it was going to be a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was actually shockingly, especially in like our first session, it was uh, me and two other writers and obviously all different rooms, but um, it wasn't that bad. Um, okay. Like we would have like uh, Rome, he was one of the writers that he was on the project and he would be playing guitar and then Zenon, she would be um, singing and it was slight delay. <laughs> Like, you know, it was a little sounding weird. I'm just kind of sitting there like, I don't know fully what's happening, but I'm going to try and follow. I bet this sounds good. Yeah, no, legit. Um, And it actually wasn't as bad as I thought. And what was really cool is um, when we were able to like, because we had to record, like we had Mm. to record guitars and vocals and everything, but we all just like kept like, we each had like uh, some form, like I used Logic Pro, I think Zen and it used the same or whatever. And we all just like recorded our stuff and like sent it. Mm. So, and then Rome was putting this all together and then he would send us the file and we're like, oh, that's what that sounds like. (laughs) Oh. Oh, okay cool oh. i mean it kind of worked but like it was definitely a surprise <laughs> by the end because you're like that delay was really messing me up because yeah. i was hearing a different song <laughs> but i'm still vibing with this right. so it's yeah. fine but yeah yeah weird yeah, but yeah it worked strange pretty well times. pretty well That's but yeah awesome. it is strange times so so where were the zoom calls like held was it like in like uh was it in studio on the computer. i know i know it was on the computer oh. <laughs> yeah i know on the computer <laughs> But was it, <laughs> was it, would, would you doing it in your house and other people? Yeah, we were yeah. all in our own houses oh. all over the province. So it was oh. really cool. And, um, but yeah, it was, I think in total, there was like on the main group call, like 22 people. And I was like, I don't know why, but I've noticed this. Like when you enter a Zoom room and you don't know how many people are going to be there and you open it and there's like 20 people there, you're like, my anxiety just shot mm-hmm. up yeah. like 15 decibels. Like, but, but yeah, no, <laughs> it's, it was really cool actually. Cause I had never seen that many people on a Zoom call. I, maybe i've had like a few people on yeah. but i was like 22 people in a room like wow you know it's it's crazy but it was yeah. uh, really cool everyone had their own different bedrooms and backdrops and it was it was awesome. really cool it was really chill very different um but yeah it worked that's so, fantastic yeah. yeah i've done some online uh, drum lessons and stuff via zoom yeah and uh with 22 people but no but not with 22 people <laughs> it's, it's just a one-on-one but just like, like 22 yeah. different drums that's not yeah <laughs> oh, the lag i'd have awful. a headache oh god <laughs> Is that right? I have no idea. I have yes. no idea. Sure. Yeah. Well done. Sure. sure. End of lesson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeez. And just throw my laptop out the window. <laughs> just like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I'm playing guitar now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Chris. G. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, like the drum lessons online and I don't know how it works Zoom. I'm terrible with, with Zoom. I'm more comfortable with, with Skype. Fair. The sort yes. of easy version. Um, but Zoom, I'm just like, what is going on? And I was teaching this this kid who's like a tech whiz. He's like okay. seven years old. Like oh, no. he's just born. Right. <laughs> and he's just like oh. telling me how to work Zoom. He's like, oh yeah, you go into advanced settings. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you just click on that audio tab. Yeah. And then oh just disable God. that. Yeah. I'm like, okay. You're like, why do you know this? I know, like, I know, like, what? Honestly, it's nuts. He's like a tech whiz. And he's like, yay yeah, hi. That's now crazy. can you listen to my single stroke roll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you liking that? Not great, I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try again. <laughs> I'll try again. I'll, 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 I'll do ne- better. I'll teach you next week. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've no idea how, how, how Zoom works. And like his yeah. mom was like, you know, you can actually schedule like a personal meeting so we don't have to create a new meeting every lesson. I'm like, okay, I don't really know how to do that. I'll Google it for yeah. sure. And I'm like, and she, I just yeah. work here. Yeah, I, know. I feel like that yeah. should be something your boss should do. I just work here, but yeah, yeah, yeah I have no idea. I not, totally get you though. Not a clue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're getting a phone call. So I hung up on them. I told you. Oh wow. I didn't put it on airplane. Oh, that's that's he okay. always does it this. I always do that. That's okay. It happens. I'll just cut. I'll just cut. <laughs> I'll, thank yeah, you. You're See how nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, give him <them> shit. <laughs> oh my bet, gosh, I, Ben, what is wrong with you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now because, yes. Because I panicked and hung up, I bet they'll call back. But I'll just cut to you. That's what people want to see anyway. Yeah. Oh, he'll wow. Cut, he'll mm-hmm. cut this together. He'll cut this together really So good. I shouldn't make a funny face in the camera. Or I could. And then I'll, I'll use it 100%. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm yeah. just going to remain neutral until that happens. Okay. <laughs> you'll, you'll try your best. But now you're thinking about it. <laughs> totally thinking about it. And I'm yeah. like, I don't know where to look. There's going to be 10 minutes of this you. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. But uh, uh, so have you got any have you got any gigs coming up? Have you got anything special? For um, that? you know what? It's actually been really cool. I've been kind of like f- trying to figure out kind of the gig thing and how that's going to work going forward. So, but right now I don't have anything live coming up. 
but um, I have been doing some recording um, virtually and that's been really cool. So I do have a couple of releases very, oh. very soon. Um, mm. And it's been really nice because I definitely thought that was going to be something that wasn't going to be able to keep going. Um, but, um, and one of the songs um, is actually, we started recording it like maybe four weeks ago and it's almost done, wow. which is very cool. And so that's been kind of like my main focus the next little bit is I really... I'm trying, I think it's just a weird time for all artists trying to figure out ways to get your music out to people, whether that is going and playing live and, and, um, you know, kind of the bubble thing. Um, it was, you know, which yeah. I have not done yet and that looks very interesting. Um, mm-hmm. but, or if it's just releasing music and doing kind of some self-produced stuff and just getting it out to the world. So I've been kind of rolling with that road of things because also it's a, a new challenge for me because normally like pre COVID I'm gigging most of the time. Yeah. And so having the time to do the writing and learning about the production side of things kind of takes a back seat. Mm -hmm. So I think just right now, as weird as it is, and it's kind of a hard time to see it as an opportunity, but I'm trying to see it as an opportunity to just kind of work on that. And then when life starts to get back to normal, getting back out and doing a lot more gigs, because I do miss it. I was just at, I went and saw Robert Adam play at um, the King Yeti on Friday. Nice. And I was like, that was my first like show going to see anything like in months. So I was like, this is so crazy. And I miss this so much, especially the Yeti. That's like, I love the Yeti so much. But it's weird though, isn't it? When like the artist is behind the glass, you it's know? It's so interesting. Like, um, and it was, I, it, we asked him too, cause like it's, there's a disconnect cause you're like not with your band. You're mm. like, oh, that's my team. So, but he like obviously killed it. He's incredible. So, but it's really interesting seeing, yeah, like the artists are almost in like a fish tank. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's cool. I mean, it's like, I'm glad that we're able to have live music in whatever way works. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's definitely interesting to watch. It's really weird. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've, I've played it. I've, I've been a few jam nights at Mikey's and 12th and yeah. uh, you know the singers are in the wee booth just yeah. uh, just off the stage and the drummer and bass player which is good for center us center stage mm-hmm. you know good for us center stage you know? yeah. I'm joking that there's never been a better time to be a drummer yeah it's legit true. yeah it's true. So, yeah like, oh, people can actually see you're me. like I am the star oh, God. I don't I'm want here. to but I wish I did my hair tonight <laughs> 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 oh my gosh that's awesome but uh, no like it was it was for sure I wore pants we are not, <laughs> <laughs> no yeah God I wish we were my nipple tassels yeah. fine <laughs> <laughs> oh but, my god uh, yeah it is for sure a bit weird um like the singers being over there and then like the bass player and, and yeah. myself for sure we're just like sort of vibing off each other but we're both sort of looking over yeah. there and like what's, what's happening we don't really know what's getting up what's, yeah what's you know so it's uh it's yeah. so true yeah and i feel like it's an energy thing too like i feel like anytime it's a full band like i mean obviously when it's just like solo acoustic thing you're kind of like oh that's fine but like when it's a band thing and there's like an energy that you kind of feed off of each other and when there doesn't when there's not that as much it's like who i'm a little nervous so yeah that would be i kudos to anyone who is doing full band with all of this like that's that's awesome yeah, that you're able to do that so it's yeah kind of nuts. I, tell you, I tell you we went to see i went to see um Free the Cynics and I on the Mountain at oh, Wild yeah, Horse. Yeah. Oh, the, they were actually I on the Mountain uh, was one of my co-writers on the Songwriting Challenge. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. they're awesome. They're so cool. Awesome. Yeah. Love Phenomenal. That. Listen, that, that was the first time I saw them live. And yeah. we've interviewed them before in season one. Yeah. And uh, they played a few songs and we're like, these guys are great. Yeah. You know, even just through webcam. And I uh, went and saw them live Yeah. two nights ago. And, and unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. They were first on and they nailed it That's the horn so section awesome. was phenomenal plus they all lived together as well so they were yes, super tight totally and all they're just doing is just rehearsing constantly during covid you know yeah no 100 percent. and honestly just like some of the funniest individuals like they made that co-write so interesting it was hilarious but yeah, yeah that's so cool i've never seen them live but would you love to. to you need to go see them live they're yes phenomenal oh my really gosh that's fantastic. awesome their dynamic level is mm-hmm. just spot on yeah really spot on um, and they won a YYC Music Award last which, night. Which, yes, that was last they night, did. which is yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's like, it's really cool seeing kind of all the faces that were like, that because I kind of was just on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, this person won. And that's, I love that. That's so cool. And it's cool they were able to do the awards like even just virtually. I mm. know, yeah. We're making things work, you know? As <laughs> we weird are. as it is, we're making things work. We so. are. Work. Making yeah. it work, yeah. There you so, go. That was going with the song. Oh, yeah. Making, making it, it work. work. Who sings that? Not a clue. Yeah. I don't okay. know, but you guys sound great. Thank so Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Singers. <laughs> Please hire us. Um, we're not singers. You know, um, I mean, hire me as a singer if you want. <laughs> I mean, that's up I'll to you. Sing. I'll sing. I'll sing. Awful show. Um, but yeah, uh, we, uh, 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 
Jeez. <laughs> we, we watched we watched the YYC Music Awards last night. Yeah. When we had nachos for dinner. <gasps> we had nachos and watched oh the YYC Music gosh. Awards. It was the perfect That's night. That's the best yeah. Sunday night. Oh, oh my gosh. And School of Rock. And then School of Rock. <gasps> you guys watched School of Rock. Which I've never seen. Yeah. Oh, you what? never seen School of Rock? No. Oh my gosh. Last night. No, that was my first time. Well, I'm happy you've seen it now. Yeah. <sighs> That's like <laughs> one of my favorite movies. I think ever you know okay. like there's so many references that i still use to this day and some people who haven't seen it they're like what are you talking about I know, that's I know. what everyone yeah. said last night it's one of the most quotable movies seriously like stick it to the man like yeah. it's just stick like, to the man yeah miss mullins you're the man thank you oh baby. my gosh <laughs> that is just like such a good movie like that's awesome yeah. so favorite good favorite quote from the movie oh. i mean i do say stick it to the okay. man quite a lot <laughs> um, um what's the other one it's like I'm trying to think. There's like that whole sequence where he's just like writing the song on the spot, but it's just like, mm. the band is mine. mine. And I'm just like, <laughs> How can you kick me out? The band is mine. mine. <laughs> oh, yes. Seriously. But like, honestly, and I still use like a lot of the gifts and stuff whenever I'm sharing things because oh. like, Jack Black's just like such a great, perfect for that role. Like, oh, literally. Spot on. Really spot like, on. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But I, yeah. I, went, I went and saw that movie in the cinema with my mom. Yeah. And I was so blown away. The next day, oh, I said, as we were leaving the cinema, I said to my mom, I was like, right, I want guitar lessons. Mm-hmm. The next day I got guitar lessons. and That's amazing. I played guitar for five years and I was like, okay, I'm not a guitar player. I mm-hmm. practiced my heart out. I can't get any better. Yeah. And then I had drum lessons and then I just picked it up like that. Well, so, there you go. You're not getting any better. I know, I'm not getting any better. I know, God. Uh, no, you so good. Jack Black is uh, my hero. Really? I love that and oh. I support that. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Should we hear? Oh, before we do that part, so I'm gonna give it a moment. You're you're getting you're getting loose, man. <laughs> Too loose. <laughs> Too loosey goosey with the rules. Tighten that up. Yeah. Contain yourselves. Oh Indeed. my gosh. I know. I'm sorry. Tighten it. Feel bad. <laughs> tell us, Megan. Oh, where gosh. can people find you on the social media? <laughs> I was like, ooh. Tell <laughs> I, got, I had to get serious. <laughs> no, seriously, that was very good. Um, you, you can find me at Megan Dawson Music, um, except for Twitter. It's at Meg Dawson Music because there's two characters that just won't fit. Um, mm-hmm. But oh. other than that, yeah, I know, right? Uh, but Meg Dawson works, and honestly, everyone calls me Meg, so Wait, it works. Wait, the, the username was too long? Yeah, so if I did Megan Dawson, it wouldn't allow me. And so I was like, huh. Meg Dawson? close enough so Weird. at meg dawson music for twitter and then at megan dawson music for everything else right okay instagram facebook tiktok tiktok, TikTok. we are on there we already follow each other yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we love TikTok. I'm, I'm thinking tiktok's gonna blow up in canada because it's it right tiktok's States. already big in canada yeah that's what you don't know <laughs> you don't <laughs> there's so much you don't know and i don't have time to explain it to you right now <laughs> we have to get we have to hear some music okay. and then get her out okay. of here. Right, you know what? You know, I think I'm gonna get TikTok again, but I'm actually gonna use it for like maybe some music stuff. Too. Yes, I yeah. wouldn't do that. Hundred percent. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Maybe some unboxing stuff. Oh, you yes. watch, you watch yes. unboxing stuff. All the unboxing things. I love that. I mean, thank you for watching those, but it also hurts my heart a little. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? I think your content is amazing. Thank you. And keep doing your thing. I, I, I will. Good. It's just, it's bummer. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. should we hear some tunes? Let's hear some tunes. Let's hear some good. Thank you so much cool. for being here. Thank, Thank you, you guys so for much. having me. This is so fun. Hey, thanks for watching that full episode of YYC Basement Sessions. We hope you're enjoying all the music. Yes, please follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell to get notifications from us.